All right, so as soon as you touch your finger on the lock, it'll unlock the door and then send a signal to automatically turn on the lights as well. Definitely a very useful feature and this not only works with lights, but any other smart devices as well. What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new smart lock. This is the Eufy Smart Lock E30. Taking a look at some of the specs, this has built-in Wi-Fi, can be unlocked by fingerprints, pin codes, and more, up to eight months of battery life. And last but not least, this lock is matter enabled, which allows you to use it on Apple Home, Google Home, Alexa, and more. So getting this installed was a very quick and easy process. You simply remove your current deadbolt, put this one in, sync it up in the app, and that's really all there is to it. From start to finish, it was about a 10 to 15 minute process. Basically, if you can turn a screwdriver, then you can definitely install this lock as well. So first off, before we dive into the rest of the features, one of my favorite things about this lock is it's matter enabled. This means it works with Apple Home devices, Google Home, Amazon, or SmartThings. And as I said earlier, it does have built-in Wi-Fi, so unlike most locks out there, you do not need to purchase an additional hub. I do not have any Apple or Alexa devices in my house as all we use is Google and getting this set up with Google is very easy. You simply go in the Eufy app, click right here where it says works with matter. And from here, it'll ask you which one you have. So if you have Apple or Alexa, just click on those. In my case, it's Google. Click on that, click start pairing. It'll put the lock into pairing mode. From there, you just open the Google Home app and scan the QR code, which is right here behind the battery cover. And that's pretty much all there is to it. From start to finish, it's about a one minute process, maybe even less than that. So when you get this added to Google, there's a few ways you can use this. First off, you can use your voice. So, hey Google, lock the back door. Got it, locking the back door. Next, you can also swipe on your home screen, go to home control, locks, click on that and you can lock it right from there. Just like on the screen, you can also do this on your phone as well, which is how I think most people are gonna be using this. This is definitely a lot more convenient because instead of having some Google devices in your Google Home, then you gotta go to your Eufy app to unlock the lock and then so on, so on. This way you can have everything all in one place. You simply open up your Google Home app, click on the lock, and you can easily lock or unlock it right from there. And once again, just like the screen, you can also open this and use your voice. Hey Google, lock the back door. Got it, locking the back door. And last but not least, as I showed you earlier, this can also be used as a trigger for other matter devices. So you can set this up so that when the door is unlocked, your lights will come on, your fan will turn on, your TV, whatever you might like to turn on as soon as you come home. And then you can also program this so that when you leave the house and lock the door, it'll automatically shut off those things as well. So definitely useful to have as it takes smart home to another level and makes things in your house a lot more automated. All right, so taking a look at the lock from the inside, up top, you just have this blank spot here, and that's the battery compartment. Inside of this, you have eight AA batteries, which give you up to eight months of battery life. Then at the bottom, you have your deadbolt, so you can manually lock or unlock just like a regular lock. Even though this is done manually, it'll still trigger a notification on your phone, so you always know the status of your door. There's been so many times where I left my house, either my kids were distracting me or I was in a rush for some reason, then you're out maybe 30 minutes, an hour away, and you have to wonder if you locked your door or not. With this, you're not gonna have that issue as it does have a auto locking feature. You can program this to the set amount of time you want, but basically after you close your door and it detects that it's been closed for that set time, it'll automatically lock your door for you. This is a perfect example of how smart tech is not only making things a lot more convenient, but actually adding a layer of security as well. Without the auto lock, you would have just left your house and it'll be unlocked. But thanks to this, it's picking up after us and making sure it's locked regardless if we remember or not. So taking a look at the outside, this is where the majority of the smart tech is at. And there's a few different ways you can unlock this. First off, as you can see down here, you do have a traditional keyhole. So if you have a family member or maybe an older person that doesn't want to mess with technology, they can just go ahead and use a regular key like they always do. And then right here up top, in my favorite way to unlock the door, you have a fingerprint reader. 
and you can program up to 50 fingerprints and as you saw this is a very fast reader as well as this reads fingerprints very quickly in only 0.03 seconds so as soon as you touch the sensor it's pretty much instant that it starts working you can lock or unlock the door with your fingerprint or when it comes to locking you can also hold down the shield and that'll lock it from the outside as you can see right here in the middle you have a touch sensitive keypad and this is a very high quality feeling pad as well. I've used some other locks in the past where these numbers and buttons just weren't very responsive. But as you can see, this one is very responsive and reacts very quickly. So for this video, my code is 112233. Enter. And then I'll unlock it. And this can store up to 100 codes. And these can be permanent, one-time, or scheduled codes. Up next, you can also lock or unlock the door from the UFI app. Just click on the lock, drag it down, it'll unlock. Same thing if you want to lock it, just drag it down and it'll lock it. And as you can see here, it also shows you the real-time status of your door, so you'll always know if the door is actually locked or unlocked. Besides on the app, it'll also send you real-time notifications of everything that happened with the lock. So I just unlocked it. And as you can see, I now got a notification that says the door was unlocked by me. So if you give everyone a separate profile, you'll be able to see who unlocked it as well. I definitely like having this as a lot of times I'm at work or not home and I know my kids are supposed to be home from school at about 3.30. So this way I don't gotta call or wonder if they actually got home. I can see right there on my phone that their profile got home and unlocked the lock. Last but not least, this lock also sends you low battery notifications when it gets below 20%. If you're like me, you'll intend to change it, but forget and end up with a dead lock. In this case, you also don't have to worry as there's a USB-C charging port here at the bottom. So you can plug in a power bank, get emergency power to the lock and still be able to let yourself in the house. And then of course, without the digital functions, you can also just use the regular key as well. So taking a look at the app, this is what it looks like. Right here in the middle, you have your lock and unlock status. Right down here, you have lock events and this shows you who locked or unlocked the door and how they did it. Right down here, you have manage access. And this is where you can give people access to the lock. What I like about having this is every user does not need to have their own Eufy profile, their own Eufy app. It can all be done right here from the same app. So right here I have myself and then I have my son. He doesn't have his own phone, so he wouldn't be able to unlock it from his phone. But thanks to having this, I can add a passcode and fingerprint under his name. So now every time he comes home and enters his passcode or uses his fingerprint, it'll show up right over here and say, Eric Jr. unlocked the door. And you can add a whole bunch of different users and you can also add temporary users as well. So let's just call this temporary. Maybe someone's coming over for contracting work. Maybe it's a nanny, a housekeeper, whatever it might be. You can set up what kind of access they have. So right here you have always, which will be your family members in your house, give this to your kids, your husband, maybe a close relative that like you don't mind having access to your house. Then you have schedule. So again, if you have a housekeeper that comes over on certain days, instead of having to let them in, they can just let themselves in with that code or fingerprint. And then you have one time. So if you're having someone over to your house, maybe you're having a game night or maybe someone's coming over for some reason, you don't have to go down, meet them at the door and go through that whole situation. You can just give them a one time code and they go ahead and let themselves in. Same thing, maybe uh, someone left something at your house, their sweater, their purse, whatever, and you're not home, you can just give them a code, they get into your house and get what they wanna get. Obviously, if you don't trust this person, don't do that. But again, very convenient. It's basically like giving a person a key, but except in digital form. Going into settings, you have a few different things you can do here as well. So if you have a Eufy doorbell, you can integrate this to work with the doorbell. So as you're viewing, you can lock or unlock it. So like it shows you right here, maybe someone came over again, Hey, I forgot my keys, can I go and get it? You can say, okay, unlock it, let them in. This way you don't gotta switch around, go back and forward. You can do it all right there from the same place. As I said earlier, you have auto lock. You can turn this on or off. You can set the timer anywhere from five seconds all the way to 60 minutes. And then if you only want it to work at certain times, you can also set a schedule here as well. You have one touch locking. You can turn this on or off. And this is what I showed you earlier, where if you hold down the confirm button, it'll lock the door. I definitely find that much easier, so I would just leave that on. Wrong try protection, similar to a cell phone or email. If someone tries to guess your password too many times, it will lock them out. You can set this anywhere from three to 10 attempts till it does the lockout. 
and then you can have the lockout anywhere from one to five minutes. Configure that how you want, but I definitely recommend leaving that on. This way someone can't be hanging out outside your door, guessing a million codes, hoping to get in. You have scramble passcode. Again, I definitely recommend leaving this on. So you have your code safe as one, two, three, four. Instead of pushing just one, two, three, four, you can put in a bunch of gibberish numbers and then enter one, two, three, four, and it's still gonna accept it. And then you can also do that after it. So you can do one, two, three, four and a bunch of gibberish and it's still gonna know it's your password. Then you can even do before and after. So you could put five, 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 four, 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 then your code, which is one, two, three, four, and then hit a bunch of random numbers, then enter. And it'll still know your password regardless of all the extra numbers that you put in. Definitely a great feature to have. This way, if someone's walking by, they look a little sketchy, you think they might be trying to see your password or something, you can just do that, enter the random numbers, then your code. This way, they'll have no idea what your code really is. And you get to hide your password without actually trying to physically cover the number panel itself. Then as I showed you earlier, this works with Matter and it shows you here all the ecosystems that it works with. And as you can see right here, you do need a hub that supports Matter over Thread. And then if you wanna add it to your device, just click on that and then whatever uh, device you have and it'll put it into pairing mode. Then you go to your device and do the rest of the setup there. As I said earlier, very quick and easy process. Lock sound, you can set that from low, medium or high. Lock calibration, it'll run you through that when you first install the lock, but if something happens, you can go ahead and configure it again. You have notifications, you can turn those on or off. Then you also have two different toggles for the locked and unlocked notifications. And that's about it for the app. Overall, a simple and very easy to use app. I own quite a few different UFI devices and overall, this is definitely one of my favorite apps when it comes to locks and cameras as it's just very reliable and again, very easy to use. Overall, this is definitely a great smart lock. It feels well made, it's very responsive and best of all, it's also very affordable as well. So all in all, if you happen to be shopping for a smart lock, I would highly, highly recommend this one here which again is the Eufy Smart Lock E30. If you would like to purchase or get more information, I'll also put the link in the description as well. All right, well, that all wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.